Here we're going to be learning about absolute value and opposite numbers. Absolute value is how far away the number is from zero, and the opposite number is the number that's the same distance away from zero as the number given. So let's try this out on number lines. The number you've been given is positive four. Now to find the absolute value of positive four, you have to see how many numbers you skip from zero to get to four. So you skip one, two, three, four numbers to get to four. So your absolute value is four. Now for your opposite number, you just skip four units, but in the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four. And your answer is negative four. Now let's try this again. The number we've been given is negative eight, and to find the absolute value, we find how many numbers we've skipped from zero to get to negative eight. So we've skipped two, four, six, eight numbers. So your absolute value is eight. And the opposite number, so you just go in the opposite direction, eight units, two, four, six, eight, the opposite of negative eight is positive eight. So a pattern you'll notice is that the absolute value is just the number made positive. So four, since it's already positive, it stays four, and negative eight turns into eight. It got turned positive. And then for opposite numbers, you just switch the signs. So positive four turned into negative four, and negative eight turned into positive eight. So let's try this without the number line. So we have to find the opposite values of the numbers below. So again, you just switch the signs. So 29 turns into negative 29, negative 86 turns into positive 86, 64 turns into negative 64, negative 13 turns into positive 13, and negative 45 turns into positive 45. Next, let's find the absolute values of the numbers below. So again, if the number is positive already, you just keep it that way, and if it's negative, you turn the number positive. So 85, this number is already a positive value, so you keep it 85. 24 is already positive. 20, negative 27, you have to turn it positive, so this turns into positive 27. 94, it's already positive, so keep it 94. And negative 34 turns into positive 34. And that is how you work with absolute value and opposite numbers.